So we are doing exercise one, observing the self by the self. And we've been talking about going through the steps, starting from step one, where we were trying to see the imagination that is going on within us all the time. And particularly, we were trying to see the feeling in the imagination. And this is something we have to do all the time, every moment, because our feeling keeps changing from moment to moment. So in step one, we were trying to observe the feeling in the imagination. In step two, we asked if that feeling that we were having is naturally acceptable to us or not. We were trying to ask if we wanted to remain with that feeling or not. We found that when it is naturally acceptable, we want to continue with that. When it is not naturally acceptable to us, we want to come out of it. In step three, we were asking whether with that feeling I was comfortable or not, what was the impact of that feeling on me? And we can notice that whenever the feeling is naturally acceptable to us, we feel calm, we feel comfortable. Whenever the feeling is not naturally acceptable to us, is not natural for us, we are disturbed, we are in conflict, we are unhappy. In step four, we were asking, since this feeling is deciding our happiness or unhappiness, who is the one who is taking the decision for the feeling? Is it the other person I was interacting with? Was it the situation outside? Or is it me who is deciding? And this also seemed very clear to all of us that it is me who is deciding the feeling. I am 100% responsible for my feeling. Even though at times it seems otherwise, but when I observe this within myself, we can see that I am 100% responsible for the feeling that I have at any moment. Then in step five, we were trying to see what was the basis on which I decided my feeling and thought. Is it right understanding or is it an assumption in the absence of right understanding? So we'll be able to see this, that if I was deciding my feeling on the basis of right understanding, then I would be deciding in favor of a feeling that is naturally acceptable to me. And I would be comfortable. I would be in harmony. I would be in a state of happiness with them. There was some confusion regarding the right understanding. So right understanding is the completeness of right understanding, which means that I will not need to ask this question, which means that I would always have a feeling that was in line with this, in line with my natural acceptance, regardless of whatever the situation outside, at every moment. But we can see that it is not like that right now. And there are many moments in the course of the day when we can see that there is some disturbance, there is some unhappiness, there is some conflict within. So we will see that when I am deciding my feeling on the basis of an assumption, some preconditioning I may have, 
something that I have accepted without really evaluating, then it will not be definite which feeling I can decide for. Sometimes I may have a feeling that is naturally acceptable or sometimes I may have a feeling that is not naturally acceptable. So the state is indefinite. Sometimes I'm happy, sometimes I'm unhappy. Sometimes I'm comfortable in harmony, sometimes I'm uncomfortable in contradiction. And because we want to be comfortable, we want to be in harmony, in happiness all the time, every moment, from this it becomes clear that we have a need for right understanding. We do need to have this right understanding so that we can decide the feeling every time on the basis of this and be in calm, in a comfortable state. Independent of what is happening outside, whether things are fine outside or not fine outside. And we took some examples also. So, if I understand the human being, then I can see that as a human being, every human being is a coexistence of self and body. At the level of the self, we all have the same needs, the same activities going on within us, the same responses or similar responses. But when it comes to, you know, similar responses means we all have this recognition and fulfillment which is based either on assumption or based on assumption either in the lack of understanding or with understanding. We all have the activities of desire, thought, expectation, feeling, thought, expectation going on within us. So we will see that at the level of the self we are similar. The only difference is how much of our potential we have been able to uncover. The only difference is in our competence from one self to the other. Then I will see it in that light. Every behavior of the other human being, I will see it in that light. And because I can see that the other as a human being is similar to me, I will also see the relationship with the other person and I will always have a feeling of relationship for every human being. So with that I can be in happiness in continuity. But if I am not having the right understanding, I have not understood the human being, I have not understood myself as a human being and I have not understood the other also. I will go with some assumption and my feeling will go with that assumption without understanding it. So if I assume that I need to evaluate a human being on the basis of their sect or their class, or on the basis of how much physical facility they have, or on the basis of what kind of opinions they have, then my feeling for the other will be indefinite. Sometimes I will have a feeling of relationship for those who belong to my sect or my class, those who have my kind of opinions those who have how much physical facility I think one needs to have. And I may have a feeling of opposition for those who belong to a different sect or a different class, 
or those who have very little physical facility or those who have opinions different from mine so at those moments when i have this feeling of opposition i will be uncomfortable i will be unhappy so my feeling will keep fluctuating between you know a feeling that is naturally acceptable and a feeling not naturally acceptable so i will keep fluctuating between happiness and unhappiness i will be influenced by the outside every now and then and sometimes we will notice this that when the feeling is uh, when the situation outside is to my liking i feel comfortable when the situation outside is not to my liking or if another human being says something which is different from what i think or is you know doing a behavior which is not in line with my assumptions then i do get disturbed so my state is very indefinite so this helps us to see that we do need to have the right understanding we do need to decide our feeling on the basis of right understanding so that we can always have a feeling that is naturally acceptable and we can be in harmony all the time so we need to understand and we saw this also that whenever the same thing that i just mentioned that whenever we are deciding our feeling on the basis of some preconditioning or assumption we can see it is in the lack of guidance from within we are getting influenced by the outside the sensations are from outside through the body preconditionings whatever we have gathered is based on past experience based on what people tell us based on what we have read based on whatever it is that we have gathered over time and a very small percentage of what we feel may be coming from our natural acceptance but if we were deciding our feeling on the basis of right understanding we would be taking the reference from the higher activities within us from the b1 block and we would be having a feeling of relationship we would be having a feeling of harmony we would be having a feeling of coexistence at all times regardless of whatever the situation is outside regardless of how somebody else is behaving regardless of the problems that we see in society and so on and then yesterday we spoke of this point for reflecting that very often we tend to think about people our interactions even after they have been passed or it has already happened still we tend to think about these things so we asked you to observe that whenever you have a thought of another person try to see the feeling for that person and try to see how you decided on the feeling was it based on right understanding or was it based on an assumption in the absence of right understanding try to see your interactions with that person during the interaction how was your feeling you will notice that these things may change while you were interacting with the person you may have one kind of feeling later on when you are evaluating things you may or may not have a different feeling if that person misbehaves with you 
on another occasion now you may have a different feeling so if the feeling is changing is not naturally acceptable at all times certainly we don't have the right understanding yet and we need to work towards it if we if our feeling was based on right understanding we would have a definite feeling at all times regardless of what the situation is with the other person isn't it that feeling would be definite every moment but if the feeling within is changing or there are times when there is some discomfort then we can see that there is a need for us to have the right understanding so in these situations also when we reflect on the situation that happened on the incident or whatever the interaction we can also try to see how what kind of feeling we could have had when the situation was such that we had a feeling that was not naturally acceptable and we were getting disturbed now when we are um, reflecting on this past incident we can still try to see what kind of feeling we could have had in that incident a feeling that was naturally acceptable and we may be able to notice that even then when we are reflecting if we have a feeling that is naturally acceptable to us at that moment we will be calm we will be comfortable so definitely there is a need for right understanding this much have we been able to see you will notice this that we go through this phase earlier we may have been getting disturbed and we thought the disturbance was because of the other person because of their behavior because of the situation outside but with reflection on it we can notice this that it is possible despite what happened to have a feeling that is naturally acceptable to have a feeling of relationship for that other person and when we do that we are no longer disturbed we will notice this so at the first phase it is about not getting disturbed or not being affected by the outside that much then we will move to the next phase of this which is to see my complementarity with that other person in that situation so in the first rung or in the first step i will notice that i am not getting disturbed or i am getting less disturbed by the outside and that is good but that is not sufficient in the next rung i will notice that i have a certain role to play not just that i don't get disturbed when i don't get disturbed and when i have the right feeling within then i will also start seeing my role my participation in that relationship i will notice that how i have become comfortable by having the right feeling i can help the other also become comfortable i can help the other also be calm be happy within and i start making effort for that because ultimately i can see that this right understanding is required not just by me or that person but it is a requirement for all because we all as human beings want to be happy at every moment so slowly that my responsibility my role my participation that becomes clear also so this happens as a process so once the process is started then we are on that path and of course we keep coming back to step 
this is only if we are aware if i am not aware of what my feeling is again this whole thing is going on for a toss because if i am not aware i go by many many assumptions i don't refer to my natural acceptions and again i keep going with a feeling sometimes that is comfortable for me sometimes that is uncomfortable for me and i keep getting disturbed so certainly we can appreciate the need for right understanding from this again this is for one incident or something that we reflected on we will notice that we have many many assumptions that are driving our feeling and suddenly some due to some assumption some sanskar that we have from before based on that our feeling may change and despite the fact that we are working on ourselves despite the fact that we are trying to be aware at all times sometimes you will notice that suddenly again your feeling has is one that is not naturally acceptable because you lost awareness or you were not able to pay attention to the feeling within and you were not referring to your natural acceptance and then your assumption your sanskar took over and from there it again the feeling was one that was not naturally acceptable so all this will keep happening and we can see you know we can try to um continue with this exercise more and more frequently till it becomes a part of us that we are constantly observing the imagination every moment we are observing the imagination every moment we are able to see the feeling and we are able to see if it is naturally acceptable or not certainly we will notice more and more moments without that discomfort and we will notice that this is what we wanted not that we really wanted to change the other but we wanted to be calm we wanted to be comfortable that was the main thing that we wanted yes yes that uh, that means that feeling will be transferred to the subconscious mind so that uh, without any effort also that will be in our habit yeah it will become a sanskar at some point isn't it my assumptions all the assumptions that i have may or may not be in line with understanding but if i am conscious about what i am doing if i am aware then i can slowly bring my assumptions in line with understanding so now this becomes the sanskar that i keep and all those sanskars all those assumptions those acceptances that i have which are not based on understanding i will see that i don't need them and they will slowly start dropping away so you will notice that you know you have mentioned two possibilities either accepting whatever the other person is doing or not accepting and reacting there is a third possibility also yes that we discuss with that person with a feeling of relationship so we don't react but at the same time we are not just accepting without making effort to change what is happening here is we have decided something within right we have assumed that because i helped out that, that person now that person must help me out and when that expectation was not met i got disturbed isn't it mm -hmm. this is what you mentioned isn't it yeah yeah so somewhere i decided that i have taken class for this person so many times now my expectation is that when i need to have time off that he should take my class nothing wrong with that expectation but we also need to be uh, you know aware that the others competence may not be what i expected to be isn't it mm -hmm. so i 
need to take that also into consideration. He may not have the competence. He may not meet up to my expectation. His behavior may not meet up to my expectation. So I need not get disturbed about it, but I can certainly discuss with him and say that, you know, I'm finding it difficult to do like this. And maybe you can see, we don't discuss because somewhere that feeling of opposition is there. So we are unhappy also, but at the same time, we are not doing anything about it. Isn't it? Outside, we are not reacting. So then it is really difficult to try to control the behavior. What you mentioned, no? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes we'll be able to, but then sometimes that volcano will burst <laughs> inside because we are trying not to react outside. But what about the reaction inside? Mm -hmm. So we don't have to control the reaction. We just have to have the right feeling within. With that feeling, we can certainly work outside and change the situation outside or help to, you know, let the other person see our side of it with the feeling of relationship. Then the discussion is possible. But if we go with the feeling of opposition, certainly like you mentioned, the reaction outside also will happen. Isn't it? Um, these are the steps that we have done so far, although we have gone over, um, but we can see this again. We were observing the imagination, particularly the feeling in step one. Step two, we were seeing if the feeling is naturally acceptable or not. Step three, we were seeing the impact of the feeling. Are we comfortable, happy within or uncomfortable, unhappy within with the feeling? Step four, we asked who was deciding the feeling that is causing my happiness or unhappiness. And we were able to see that I'm the one who is deciding the feeling that I have at any moment. So I am deciding my happiness or unhappiness at any moment. It is not the situation outside. It is not the other person who is irritating me or who is disturbing me. I am the one who is choosing my feeling, deciding my feeling. In step five, we were asking the question about the basis on which I am deciding this feeling. Is it based on right understanding or is it based on an assumption in the absence of right understanding? So if it was based on right understanding, the feeling would be definite at all times. I would have a feeling in line with my natural acceptance, in line with the right understanding, and I would be happy. But if it is based on assumptions in the lack of right understanding, then it will keep changing. Sometimes I will be happy, sometimes I will be unhappy. It will depend on you know, my assumption. If my assumption is in line with understanding, I will be happy. I will have a feeling in line. If my assumption is different, I will have a feeling which is not in line with natural acceptance and I will be disturbed. So these are the steps so far. So we can see that right understanding is required for us so that we can ensure this right feeling, the natural feeling within at all times and have this state of happiness within ourselves at all times. So what are these feelings that are natural for me? The feelings that I want in continuity. We talked briefly about this in the last step, but we'll look at it in a little more detail now. So let us ask, which feeling is naturally acceptable to me? Is it a feeling of relationship or a feeling of opposition? We keep asking this question and I think, you know, the answer at least as information is 
there with all of us but it has to come in our living for it to make any difference to me personally to to my happiness if it is just information that yes a feeling of relationship is naturally acceptable to me but if i don't actually have this naturally acceptable feeling at all times then i am going to be i am bound to be unhappy and it is my own doing similarly if we ask the question what is naturally acceptable to me the feeling of harmony or the feeling of disharmony and we will notice that the feeling of harmony is what is naturally acceptable to me that is what makes me feel calm whenever there is a feeling of disharmony then i am disturbed what is naturally acceptable to me feeling of coexistence or a feeling of struggle this also we can try to see within ourselves that when i have the feeling of coexistence i feel calm i feel comfortable that is what is naturally acceptable to me but when i have a feeling of struggle then i it feels like i am constantly having to fight constantly having to control and i am this is something that is disturbing for me so the feelings that are natural for me the feelings that i want in continuity are the feelings of relationship the feeling of harmony the feeling of coexistence this is what i want this is what is naturally acceptable to me and these are the feelings that i want to have in continuity right now it may be that many times we can see this in bits here and there sometimes we are aware and we decide the feeling based on our natural acceptance and immediately we can feel the happiness also within but so many other moments when we are not aware we may have a feeling that is not naturally acceptable to us and we keep getting disturbed we are unhappy and not only are we unhappy at that moment we keep thinking about it again and again and again at so many other moments even after the incident is over and we keep having those same feelings which were not naturally acceptable to us and we get disturbed again and again and again so many times even though that incident may have been over in a very short time we may be spending several hours sometimes days weeks going through the same thing thinking about it having those same feelings again and again but when i am observing when i am observing the incident the difference is when i am doing this self observation then i will notice that here i had a feeling that was not naturally acceptable and now i will look at what is naturally acceptable to me what would have been the feeling that would have been naturally acceptable to me in that situation and i can see that with that feeling i am calm i am comfortable and this i can keep doing but ultimately at every moment i need to be aware real time and i need to have the right feeling that becomes something which is 
very significant for me in my day to day living because that is deciding my happiness at every moment or unhappiness yeah take so we'll take this question first thing in the morning tomorrow sure but sure but very quickly very briefly i'll just mention that it's like we were talking earlier it's fine to have the expectation yeah but again you know when i have the right understanding i will have expectations depending you know i will take the others competence also into consideration yes and certainly i will not, not become unhappy when the expectation is not met but we'll yeah. discuss this uh, in more detail tomorrow yeah thank you Deepa. and also you. the first step in in this whole path like we were speaking earlier is not to be disturbed by the others behavior the next phase would be to be able to see our complementarity in helping the other also yeah yes yes thank you Deepa. we'll discuss this in detail tomorrow 